Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 500 mini released by elite in 90 oh so this is one that wasn't done by Delmark sorry released by elite in 1988 also released on the Atari ST the Commodore 64 the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC I have gameplays of the Spectrum and the Commodore 64 version and basically obviously this is based on the movie of the same name that was released in 1973 it is Roger Moore's first Bond movie based on the original book written by Fleming in 1954 and some drug dealer Baron who wants to flood the market with a shit ton of free drugs to get rid of all his competitors. There's like a voodoo bloke in it called Baron Sandy. Stephanie Seymour, is this her first movie? I'm pretty sure it was Stephanie Seymour. That's a guess. Uh, Jane Seymour, sorry. Jane Seymour, and she's like the sidekick and stuff like that. And there's that bloke with a robotic arm. An amazing stunt where, uh, well, it's not Roger Moore, Bond runs across crocodiles and all their mouths open. And that was for real. They were real crocodiles. They were, their legs were tied in place, but they were real crocodiles. Don't believe me, the outtake is on YouTube uh, where he falls off and almost gets bitten by one of them because while their legs are tied down, their mouths aren't. Anyway, sorry. So, this was um, basically, uh, it was uh, released, uh, no, on the, at least on the 8 bits. The music's alright, by the way, but it's not very Bondy. Bondish? Bondi. No, that's a beach. Um, yeah, on the 8 bits, as far as I can tell, it was actually another game. I think like Road Blasters, but in a boat on water. And they just kind of slapped the Bond license on it uh, and said, yeah, we're going to make this, uh, you know, our Bond tie-in game. So, obviously, there's a boat bit in Live and Let Die, and that's what they did here. It's not fantastic on the 8 bits, but I'm working my way through as many Bond games as I can. Don't think there's that many on the 16 bits, uh, the micros, that is. But yeah, so let's get into this. As far as I can tell, that this is running at the right speed because when I run it, it's a trained ROM. It says unfix speed fix or remove speed fix or something. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Right, music, sound effects. We're going to go with sound effects. That is the most unbond title screen I've ever seen. Fire. Right, so top secrets, uh, target practice, North Pole training, uh, Sahara Desert training, New Orleans mission. So obviously New Orleans is in the movie, but you're going to take a little fucking skiff boat <laughs> through the North Pole. Okay, this is how you can tell it's a reskinned other game. Um, right, so target practice. Right, so top left score, in the middle leg one, top right high score, uh, bottom right hand corner. That's my throttle and fuel is to the left of that and in the middle is my speed in knots. To the left is weapons, I guess, and then to the left of that, 007. Uh, apparently someone's engraved it in my boat so I don't forget who I am. Graphically, it's a bit pants, isn't it? Right, so we just got to shoot as much shit as we can. My fuel is going down. I don't know what the fuel looks like to pick up. Can't hold fire down. Goes quite Harry Clappers, doesn't it? Right, but let's slow down. Uh, is there time? I don't know. Score goes up. Shit. Uh, continuously, because obviously we're progressing. It's a one-man boat. It's a very small boat. It's like those little boating ponds you used to get at amusement parks. That's exactly what it looks like. Oh, shite. Controls are twitchy as you like. And this is just training. It was brutally hard on the Spectrum and the Commodore 64. Don't know what the Amstrad version's like, but... I think it got like 70% on the 8 bits, kind of review wise, you know, nothing special. It's a Bond game if you want to relive, you know. I like the fact that these Bond games like this and The Spy You Love Me, you know, came out, obviously that was Domark, on the Spectrum like fucking 15 years, <laughs> or this did, um, after the movie. It's not very smooth, is it? It was nice of Q Branch to fill this river up with targets for me, wasn't it? <clears throat> I'm almost out of fuel. I think 
Do I shoot shit to get more fuel? I'm going to go really slowly. Have a look. No, it's not giving me more fuel. Okay, so how do I keep going? I think, or was it just practice? And in, in the actual game, do you collect fuel? I mean, like, out of road blasters and stuff like that? At least we were in a boating pond. We could, like, you know, move the paddles ourselves. Wind, if you will. Out of fuel, game over. Any music? Time. It's giving me time to count down. Uh, target practice. 93%? Or was that my failure rate? Because number one is 60%. I'm guessing that's... I, I have no idea how that table translates. By all means, let me know. So this is probably the least Bondy, Bondis, Bondi, of all the Bond games on the Amiga, I would say. At least never net that one ball terrifically hard. You know, car turned into a boat and shit. This is just clearly another game given the Bond license. With a tile screen, it's not even reminiscent of Bond. Shall we target practice, North Pole training? Can't go back. I want to put the music on, but meh, it's a little bit too late for that. North Pole! Because, obviously, that happened in the movie, didn't it? There we go. So, there you go. How do you make it North Poley? Obviously, you make it white. Oh, there's boats! I think. Oh, there's planes as well. Oh, that was cool. I do like the water effect when he drops. Am I? I'm assuming I'm supposed to avoid that. Tunnels. All right, do you know what? Immediately, still graphically a bit shit. Um, but it's mixed things up. I do like that. Iceberg. Icebergs. Mini iceberg. Ice cubes, basically. A mini iceberg is an ice cube. What are those things? Oh, they're mines. And so is the square thing. Wait, this, this is fucking Road Blasters, isn't it? Whoever made this game said, this is Road Blasters, we're going to do it in water. That way, hey, they won't sue us and everyone else will think it's a different game. Clearly, they won't confuse us with Road Blasters because we're in a boat. I don't need to play any further to let you know that this is a bit pants. I want to know what fuel is. So I'm going to go a little bit slowly, just to satisfy my curiosity. It is not smooth. I think that floating briefcase, a touchy case, which fuel. There we go. No! See, the thing is, there's so much shit coming at you. That's fuel. Then you've got to, you've got to hammer, uh, or you're just going to get killed. But by you doing that, it means you're going to shoot your fuel. And also, you've got to put the, uh, the hammer down. That's probably not the correct description. Oh, shite correct descriptive term for a boat but you've got to put the hammer down because <clears throat> obviously your fuel's limited and everyone else is out to kill you so it doesn't really I'll never complain about trying to get the fuel in road blasters it's being difficult again but it doesn't really give you much of a chance to pick up the fuel add into that that your controls are shite and I think you've got a pretty good feeling for this game even though I haven't actually played a mission yet. This is harder than the Spectrum, I will say that. But to be fair, um, it's it's uh, eight years ago since I played the ZX Spectrum. Also, why is your Live and Let Die logo nothing like a fucking Bond logo? Look at what it does with the E and the A. And then look, there's a knife, see? Because, yeah, look, it's a knife, so it's like Bond. No, no, that would have been a gun if it was Bond. Oh, Elite. I expect better than you. Elite were a decent software house. Uh, Sahara training. Can anyone guess what colour this would be? Hmm. There we go. And the pyramids. Because why not? Wait. Who's shooting? I... Why, when I pick up my fuel, shot it? See what I mean about it? Right. Does it... Oh, look. That's it there, isn't it? Oh, that's fake fuel. Why does it feel or sound like someone's dialing a phone? Granted, an old school 80s phone. Do the jumps there. Oh, look! Oh, no! How am I fucking supposed to avoid that? I'm bombed. I'll shag my way out. Oh. Well, I was fucked. See what I did there? 
That is an alright effect, I suppose. Who's that? What's that? I'm scared. Hold me. Right. Are there weapon upgrades? How am I supposed to take a helicopter out when I'm in a boat? And also, why? You've, you've rendered it. Just a very notion of how you should play this. I just realised there's a bond no uh, logo on the bottom right hand corner of the screen uh, as well. So this is clearly is my boat. But you've rendered this unplayable with the fact that I... The mechanic of the game is to go as fast as you can because it's essentially a racing game. You may have to shoot shit, but it's essentially a racing game. But by doing that, it makes it too difficult to A, see what is actually fuel because you hit stuff that's either a jump or a mine or that yellow thing that was fake fuel or I don't know what it was, but it was the same colour but yellow and blew me up. Then on top of that, as I said, you've got to, you've got to shoot everything. <clears throat> oh, bollocks. Let's go fucking mental. I mean, well, no, the frame rate's not alright because every time you move from left to right, it hurts the inside of my face. Shit. <clears throat> Come on, Q Branch, what, you couldn't have given me some sort of mini fusion reactor so I didn't need to stop for fuel? Is there even fuel on this stage? I have no idea how I missed any of that, but also I'm not seeing fuel. Oh, bollocks. <clears throat> well, at least Greenpeace would be happy, eh? They're probably too busy going after the rainbow fucking warrior or whatever it was, if this is 1988 or something. Yoink! I'm going to throw up. That's not smooth scrolling. It's alright in a straight line. Right, let's get let's get straight. <clears throat> so what is even the point? See, it says leg one. So what is even the point <clears throat> of this training mission if I can't get fuel? Because obviously you're going to get further in... Not as far, it's, you know, depending upon how you're doing when you play it each and every time. But without fuel, at some point, if you become as good as you most possibly could be on this, refine your skills, if you will, then you're just gonna you're gonna hit a wall. Better that than one of these things, oh eh? <laughs> so if anyone knows what this game was supposed to be called, by all means, let me know. It's probably in the code, isn't it? Oh, shame on you, elite. You did Commando, you did Bomb Jack, you did Paperboy. Um, you, you were you were bloody good. See, look, twenty percent. I don't know. Yeah, you were bloody good, Software House. This is just this is just dialed in. Judo chop, judo chop. Thank you. Right. So we try the mission. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't care. <laughs> Obviously, um, there's that amazing funeral scene in the movie, isn't there? Which is in New Orleans, just in case you forgot. I remember when I was working in Clifton as a labourer in a house, and it was a listed building, but we were pulling up the floorboards, and this would have been in 1998, because we all went round the pub to watch the World Cup. I remember they gave us the afternoon off. Um, yeah, and I pulled up some old newspapers, and there was an article in there. I've still got it somewhere framed when they announced that Roger Moore, so obviously this was from the early 70s, was going to be the new Bond. I do like that lighting effect, but I can't tell if that's deliberate or just happens. Right. At least, well, I, I say at least we haven't got time, but having to get fucking pillbox, having to get fuel is essentially the same as time. Also, have you, has anyone ever seen, has anyone ever seen, has anyone seen fuel yet? I've only seen, there. I was say, I've only seen the jumps. This is just stupid. I don't know what reviews it's got on the 16 bits, but it can have been good. And as I said, it got very average reviews on the... Look, a helicopter. Was it dropping guns? It is. It's basically Road Blasters. Only Road Blasters is fun. And this is not. Judo chop. Judo chop. Right, also, this doesn't look very New Orleans-y. Z, Z, E, E. Oh, bollocks. If you just left it so I didn't shoot fuel, then, I don't know, maybe it would have been more fun. But you've just made it unplayable. 
I'm sure there are people, as I will say, out there who can rinse and repeat this game on like one, well, not one credit, it's not a cake machine, but good for you. We all need gold. It's a log. Oh, it's sweet, sweet death. Right. I am going to throw up. The scrolling, trust me, it's as bad for me as it is for you. I don't remember there being this many rocks in rivers in New Orleans. I want whatever is dropping. Right. There's no bloody fuel in it. As always, I like to say that this game is shite, but I've played it so you don't have to. You're welcome. But yeah, there's no bloody fuel in New Orleans. It's the 70s though, isn't it? Fuel crisis. Was that the late 70s, not early 70s? Oh, bollocks. Hey, at least the enemy's a dumb bastard and died. I feel that there's a game in here trying to get out. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Oh, don't. I just said that for a fact. <laughs> this is awful. This is shit. It wasn't amazing on the Spectrum or the Commodore, but you had slightly more of a chance of... Well, I know you did, to be fair. <laughs> right. See? Too much stuff going on at once. I mean, either make it so I have to avoid shit and it's tits frisky, it's going as fast as I can. But don't don't have the fuel thing in at the same time. Which obviously is kind of a time limit, but not a time limit. You know what I mean. This is rubbish. Well, that idea of playing as many Bond games uh, as I, I could. It sounds like my doorbell, actually. Sorry, that's exactly what my doorbell sounds like. Yeah, playing as many Bond games as I could hasn't got off to a particularly great start, has it? Well, no, it was it was alright on GoldenEye 007 on my Xbox, but... Right, see? Ooh! And then when you do see a chance of fuel, you've got to avoid that bloody guy there with his fucking minigun. And so you're fucked. And then if I go slowly, does it, like, like real life, <laughs> extend my fuel range? Maybe if we go downhill, I'll coast. <laughs> oh. This is shite. It's always that helicopter I die at. This is shite. Live and let die. How about dying, die? Target practice. No, let's go back to the North Pole. These missions, well, still hard and still kill me, seem to be easier than the actual mission, which I guess you could argue is kind of how it should work. So basically I don't have lives. I have worked that out. Can you imagine if they put that into the equation as well? Unless this is running at the incorrect speed and I am missing a trick. Um, this really is one to give a miss to. Shite. It really is. It's funny because the box art has Roger Moore on it. See him anywhere in the game? <laughs> nope. Raise his eyebrow. Oof. Yoink! Yeah, the scrolling. Well, it does scrolling. Is it scrolling is a strong descriptive term, but the minute. The sense of speed is there, but the minute you go round a corner, can I call it that? Um, you're fucked. I have no idea how I got that second fuel. Oh, fuck, I thought I could jump them, but it's not, it's ice cubes. How did I miss that? Uh oh, stay at the middle. Oh no, he's dropped something. What did that do? Nothing, apparently. Oh! <laughs> Is it a lock? Why? I was shooting! Ah, it's a oil. They're dropping oil barrels. Bastards. Poor fishes. And then they ram you. If they ram you, it kills you. Everything kills you. Well, it does have die in the title, doesn't it? At least with me on this practice level, you can see a bit. Not much. Yeah. Live and let die. Too fucking hard. Uh, but to be fair, as I said, I played it. You don't have to. You're very, very, very welcome. Massive fan of Bond. Was a massive fan of Bond back then. I know these machines are incredibly primitive to what we have now. But could have done something better than this. Oh, wait. Now I know why. Sorry. As I said earlier on in this video, they just slapped the Bond name on a game that already pre-existed and was basically Road Blasters um, in a boat. Yeah, uh, that pitch went down well, didn't it? And also, was 
didn't the league do with their own Rogue Blasters? And it was called Outland. But there is a, um, a Rogue Blasters esque game by Elite, I'm pretty sure. And I've played it by the, on the ZX Spectrum, which is a lot more fun and forgiving than this. Anyway, it's always a love tonight thing, especially if you played this back in the day on any of the micros. And what did you think? And is there a hidden gem of a game in here and I'm just going about it wrong? As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.